Hey everyone, Dave here and welcome to Shadowgate VR Overview. I'm not very much familiar with the project, it seems to be a VR port of apparently legendary series, though I was not alive at that time, so to me it's like a fresh IP. <laughs> so Shadowgate seems to be an adventure action spellcasting game where you explore the dungeons solving puzzles and being hunt down by just horrorish monsters. From the look of it it seems like a budget The Wizards and it's no shade to the developer but it really seems like an exact same game. The trailer, the graphics and just overall vibe of it, I'm not really feeling it. And I consider myself a veteran at this point in this genre. It's not like bringing very exciting stuff to the quest nowadays, nor it seems unique. So my expectations are essentially set on a very low bar. There's a room to surprise me, but it's very unlikely as well as I'm heading to this series very much fresh, so I don't have any nostalgia nor just any previous encounter to just elevate my judgment. But let's see, fingers crossed I'm wrong. Greetings, sorcerer. I am Odin, the raven your guide on this lovely journey. I can help you in many ways and that will be explained in due time. For now, let me guide you through these menu screens. You can start by creating a new profile or you can select one that you have already created. Here, you can start a new adventure. Ah, so many options. Oh my god, he's not gonna so shut up, is he? Odin's sarcasm. Odin won't take as much. We'll see, but I'm looking at you. <laughs> and so, it begins. Oh, hey. <laughs> the wizard said to me a fortnight ago. Find one who would accept the challenge. The castle shadow gate awaits you. Welcome to the spires of Adgor, sorcerer. Despite its bleak appearance, the rock on which you stand is holy ground. So, tread carefully upon it. I see your belt holds a sorcerer's wand. Good. We will need such things. For dark days lie ahead. Dark days. <laughs> If you need a hint, make sure Odin the Raven is near. Press left thumb stick button to call him the nearest pedestal. Listen to me, sorcerer. For time is fleet and this spectral portal will soon fade. I am Lakmir the Timeless. Grand Wizard of the Circle of Twelve and Warder of the Castle Shadowgate. I fear one of our own, Talimar the Starless, has escaped the prison in which he was bound. How? I know not. But this I do know. His dark shadow is once again moving within the world, and the great drums of the mountain dwarves have gone silent. <sighs> but do not fret, for I shall not forsake you, nor will I leave you unarmed. For although darkness awaits in the caverns below, a new fire will burn within you. Let it light your path. Now I must be away. Odin, my raven. And now your guide will lead you to the halls of Shadowgate, where I wait. Do not tarry. Fare thee well. Where was this transition? He seemed like he is already in the castle. I guess we just shoot the pillars. <laughs> this spell has a recharge time, so it's not necessary that we can spam it. Wait, what was that? <laughs> Why is this appearing? <laughs> Can you help me? Do not tarry nor look back from whence you came. 
the path forward should not be shrouded to you, as it was made known by your own hand. That was amazing tape. <laughs> Can we just progress? Maybe I don't need to do anything with it. Ah, oh, here we have something. Yes. Four flaming runes upon risen monoliths. Each brought to life by elemental magic. Where else have you seen the same? Are they not also worthy of the same touch of your wand? Mm-hmm, okay. <laughs> you teleported. Ah, here we are. The mines of Mithrock. Lovely place. <laughs> Note the circle on the floor in front of you. If you step upon such runes and wait a few moments, your progress on this quest will be safe. Ah, oh, shit, my ass off. Well, we're starting with the horror. <laughs> if you wish to view the world through Odin's old thing, I see press X button. Your speed will then enter Odin's vision, become one of the Raven and green great secrets. Oh. Apparently I died. <laughs> Do I, for example, just look through it? Oh. <laughs> oh. Press B button to open the inventory and see your items. Do not come here anything. <laughs> what? <laughs> it appears the door by which you entered is locked from the other side. Seek out another exit. No, it's not. You stupid <laughs> raven. <laughs> The lack of a welcoming party is disconcerting. At least this hallway isn't exposed to the elements. Best to carry on. Did you feel that, sorcerer? That must be the warlock lord of which Lakmir spoke. Uh, I'm sure we'll be fine. Okay. You have already learned the power of runes set within these walls. Seek them out here as well. You know what's interesting? It feels like this storytelling and just the vibe of it, it's from like books or like an adventure, D&D style essentially, because of its like kind of sequences. I don't know, it's like I get this feeling. Use your wand to turn off the first rune on the wall. Then move down the stairs, turn and fire upon the rune behind you, the one set into the column. She said to turn around. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Raven. <laughs> I don't want to be left alone here. Oh, but you can cross, okay. Use your knowledge of <laughs> magical barriers. <laughs> I hate this. Oh, wait the hell? <laughs> Just, oh, oh, fuck. I have goosebumps everywhere. What the hell? You can have five maximum health points. Show on the underside of the glove. Yeah, give me this. Some runes are harder to find than others, and may require you to crane your neck to discover them. 
Okay, well, I don't want to show more, but that's pretty much the gameplay. <laughs> you enter the dungeons, just get spooked by those stupid creatures. I did not realize this game is gonna have an actual proper storyline. I mean, apparently this series is based on like text adventures, so I think it was just converted to the virtual reality, but in a way that it feels like an actual adventure, so I'm not mad at that aspect. It seems a bit basic for now because we just have this fireball, but maybe later on we're gonna have something else. Seriously, who designs these dungeons? It's almost as if these traps are some sort of test. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, the narration. It's intriguing to say the least, but I have no idea if we're gonna continue with so many games to continue now for me that I have to pick and choose, but I guess it's not that bad as I wanted it to be for some reason, but it's definitely fucking spooky. And I think it's just because whenever something sudden is happening, the audio just pumps and you feel like an adrenaline to just do something because there's no ambient music going on, so it's, it's a horror. <laughs> we'll see if we're gonna return to it.